When all your friends have turned to fossils, a field trip to the museum is a walk down memory lane. Thanks to what paleontologists like Joe Sertich dig up. Yeah, getting out and actually making the discoveries is the reason I became a paleontologist. That's that adrenaline rush, that feeling that you're the first person to ever see this evidence of past life. 75 million years after the dinosaur, Parasaurolophus roamed the Earth. Sertich and his team from the Denver Museum of Nature and Science made a big find in New Mexico. And just this little bit of bone was exposed on the edge of the, the cliff wall. And as we were chiseling, we hit the tubes and we knew exactly what we had. This is by far the best preserved uh, example of a Parasaurolophus skull. It's only the second skull of this species ever found. And the iconic tubed crest is still intact. So we think that this crest may have acted as some, as some sort of resonating chamber. And it might have enhanced or changed the way those sounds were broadcast out of the animal. The skull is so well preserved, it reveals something new about a creature from the Cretaceous period. And what that tells us is it was actually really closely related to some of its cousins, which have much smaller crests. And so it really solved this big mystery in paleontology about how these tubes were formed. Most digs don't end with this kind of discovery, but it's about time prehistoric pals were reunited. And this one actually turned out to be something so cool that hadn't been found in almost 100 years. I love it. It is so cool. And so all of the research that they did on this, everything was published in a journal that was released just yesterday. It's called Pure J, so you can check that out. And Kim and Tom, I have to tell you guys, the Parasaurolophus, I just learned the correct pronunciation today, but it's been my favorite dinosaur for as long as I can remember. When I was a little kid, my older brother Colin was obsessed with dinosaurs, could name every single species there was, and my hair used to stick up on the top of my head, so my brother called me a Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. I used to call it a Parasaurolophus. That's why I'm screwing up the pronunciation. But anyway, obsessed with dinosaurs, and I've been obsessed with the Parasaurolophus since then because my brother called me that. Kim, Tom? <laughs> it was marvelous. I love the pictures. Um, well, we all had our favorite dinosaurs as kids. Kim, yours was the... Uh... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you stumped me. The Parasaurophilus. That's it. I can't pronounce it. Something okay. along those lines. I can't either. I love that picture. <laughs> Did you just happen to have that small uh, dinosaur that was part of our story today just around the house? Yeah, I honestly have had it around the house and with uh, photojournalist Ann Herbst. I've been working out of her house during the pandemic, so it's been keeping us company from her house as we work each day. And it was fun to bring it to the museum today. He got a chance to see all of his old friends. <laughs> excellent, excellent field trip for everyone involved. Noel, and, that was cool, thank you. Yeah, and what, what things bro big brothers do for us. True. Great things, yay, thanks <laughs> <laughs>